Hey everyone, so this is going to be another video on the subject of the US election, and uh, as many of you know, I'm a Canadian citizen. And this one is for the Trump supporters. You are going to hell for this. And so this is not necessarily fully in my wheelhouse, although I do watch American politics quite a bit, not the least of which because it's an extremely consequential subject. But also because uh, I'm a big fan of Donald Trump, actually. This guy is a genius level intellect. He's not well understood by people around him. And that should really tell you all you need to know about why I'm not going to be hanging out with y'all um, for the holidays. So off, uh, choke on your turkey. Bye. And, it, you know, it's always that way. If you're brilliant, nobody understands you. And, you know, his favorite uh, quote, to my knowledge, is one by Arthur Schopenhauer, which is uh, Schopenhauer says, uh, talent hits a, a target nobody else can hit. Genius hits a target nobody else can see. And when I watch what Donald Trump does, the way he behaves, his sort of uh, strategic inclinations, I think this guy is extremely high functioning. And... Interestingly enough, uh, Donald Trump's favorite book, one of his favorite books, is Sun Tzu's The Art of War. He studied Sun Tzu's The Art of War, and th this is not a secret, actually. And in Su Sun Tzu's The Art of War, um, th the theme is that deception is one of the highest levers of, of uh, strategical excellence in war. You deceive your opponent, and you misdirect them. When you're strong, you appear weak. When you're weak, you appear strong. And Sun Tzu talks about getting your enemy to reveal their hand. Is that what you think? Because I'd love to paint this wall blood f***ing red. My body, your choice? How about your skull, my gun? And I don't remember the exact language. He said, like, if, if, um, if, the, if the enemy has a bad temperament or something like that, then the, the object of war is to... Um, um, in contemporary parlance, it's to trigger the enemy. It's to, it's to anger and aggravate the enemy and triggering them into responding in an off-balanced, off-centered way. If I hear any dude tell a girl, your body, my choice, I'm going to immediately knock your f***ing teeth down your throat. And in the context of, of, a, of a normal, more, you know, um, historical war, uh, it, it's to it's to lead the enemy into showing you their hand, what their what they plan, what their character is, and so forth. It, it gives you free in intelligence, so to speak. Now, in the context of contemporary political warfare, you can say, and basically, it is it is a war. We are in a war, actually. You know, war is the correct word for for what's happening. You guys know that my husband turned Republican this term. I don't know why. I threw his ass out of the house, and. Um, I have to do more. I don't want to shave my head because that's going to hurt him. I'm going to look ugly. So I'm not doing that. I think I'm going to sleep with his friends. I think that's the only way. I think sleeping with his friends will do. What do you guys think? His liberal friends, of course. It, in, in, in this context, I think Trump has taken Sun Tzu's teachings and he's adapted them for the contemporary left. And just to highlight very briefly what the nature of the problem is in the West, is that the, the communists never went away in the 1950s, you know, following McCarthyism and so forth. They never went away. They just adapted their tactics. And if you go back and read uh, about Saul Alinsky, he's a pretty instrumental figure in the uh, evolution of Western politics. <clears throat> what he counseled was that Listen, you're screaming Maoists, but don't show people that you're screaming Maoists. Put on a coat, put on a tie, and pretend that you're, uh, you know, uh, a sober liberal. That, in fact, you're just interested in, you know, the continuance of Western civilization, democratic values, and so forth. And then when you get in power and you have a chance, put people, you know, put political operatives in, in positions of power and so forth. And what, what has sort of taken place over the last 50 years is that you've had a bunch of very, very, very radical people pr putting on a coat, putting on a tie, and pretending to be liberals. And, you know, the, the siren song is one of equality, diversity, tolerance, and so forth, and people vote for them. Now, the strategical brilliance of Trump is that I'm quite certain he goes out of his way to trigger them. And when you trigger these people, the fangs come out, and they just start foaming at the mouth like animals. Like animals. Her body, my choice. Because at, at bottom, these people are barbarians. 
Okay, not only are they not intellectually sophisticated, not only are they not scholarly, these people are, are the epitome of, of barbarians. How about my Glock, your dome? Your body, my trunk. Your body in the motherfucking lake. Your body in a body bag. And all you really need to do is trigger them and and that, that well-manicured facade of the temperate liberal just collapses and the fangs come out. And I, I've watched so many videos, so many absurd videos in the past week. I mean, the absurdity is, is just incredible. It's incredible, particularly among these rabid feminists. I mean, these people are out of their minds. These are literal barbarians. Men are going to live in fear. Women are so sensitive. Women are so sensitive. Why don't you smile? Why don't you f me? Die! And it's like George Gurdjieff said, you know, conceded at a lower level of development, at a below average level of development. You know, the fact that these people are conceded and, and, and you know, high-minded and so forth, so forth, shouldn't blind anyone to the reality that these are basically barbarians. Elon mother Musk! I just paid an Etsy witch $7.99 to make your life a living hell. And all we need to do to continue to win the culture war is trigger them. Take a page out of Trump's book, really. Trigger them. Go out of your way. Own the libs. I mean, you know, say things that'll trigger them. Say, say your body, my choice. Because, you know, these people are not in control. This is a message to all the conservative boy moms. Let me tell you something. You better handle your sons because the first one of them little shits that walks up to my daughter and says, your body, my choice, is going to be picking themselves up off the f***ing ground. You see, I didn't raise little demure little mindful angels. No, no. I raised little feminist hell raisers, little forces of nature who take no prisoners in the fight for justice and equality, and every single one of them has had martial arts. So unless you want some really expensive dental bills in your future, I recommend you handle your boys. Thank you, and have the day you f***ing deserve. And the more they act out, the more they scream, the more they do all this stuff, the, the entire facade, which is giving them cover and enable to them, enabling them to advance politically, it just dissolves. And so, yeah, my counsel, you know, for, for us to continue restoring the West and uh, just simply ridding ourselves of the nuisance of these low-functioning, moronic people, go out of your way to trigger them. Say things that'll trigger them because they're losing. And the more that they reveal themselves, the more that they reveal their character, the more that they reveal their strategy, their temperament, the more that people who are really not politically sophisticated and are not paying careful attention to what's happening, the more the underlying reality will be revealed to the man on the street and the average swing voter. And this is how we're going to win. So I would, I would say, look, you know, say, say all this stuff, say your body, my choice. It's great. I mean, get, get these people to, to make the videos that they're making. They're volunteering to help us. I'm just going to start being so fucking mean to men. Like, not like I wasn't really particularly nice to them before. Cause like, you know, and you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, without, without, without barely lifting a finger, we can dissolve the fiction. All you have to do is trigger these people and they'll do the work for us. And as they do the work for us, the truth will come out. The truth always needs to come out. Why are you not urging Biden, not urging, demanding Biden pack the Supreme Court? Why the f are we not demanding that he arrest a convicted felon? And so, um, you know, if you think that sounds like mean spirited, no, the truth must come out. Where are you, Biden? Why are you guys doing something? Please, step down and let Kamala be president for a minute and maybe she can do something, but somebody's got to do something. You can't just hand the keys over to that monster. And, you know, the, these people, these, these so social justice warriors and so forth, these are some of the most racist, sexist, hateful, bigoted vermin I've ever seen in my life in, in 40x years on this planet. How, how could you possibly vote for a man, a straight white male, of all people, a straight white male? I, I, I've never seen such hateful vermin as, as these. And if we're going to continue to win culturally, we need to do everything we can to expose this underlying reality to people. 
And so, you know, listen, have fun with it even. I mean, you know, this is right out of Alinsky's uh, book, Rules for Radicals, you know, sort of have fun doing it. But yeah, have fun. Trigger these people. Tell them my bo- your body, my choice. Tell them stuff like this. I see you out in public acting a f- fool. If you want to f- throw hands, bring that shit the f- on because I would love to right now. We cannot allow these barbarians to destroy the cultural legacy of the West. And the way to continue winning is just to trigger them. So, you know, take a take a page out of Trump's book, trigger these people whenever possible, and we will continue to win. I don't let politics come between friendships. Bitch, I do. You sold me the f- out for concepts of lower gas prices. F- you.